up guys welcome back to the channel today is the day yeah. you can see yeah buddy thank you so much love you today is the day you can see we have the rsx ready to go paul my buddy who's holding the camera has already gotten here we got the car turned around to get it ready for the weather machine and i am pumped about today because this is something that I have been waiting for for a long time. This is a huge step in the RSX build, getting it ready for that $1,000 race on April 24th. So we're gonna try to get this thing cleaned up, getting a lot of it uh, buttoned up. You saw in the last video, we got that sound deadener out. So that was a big step, but we're gonna try to get most of all the spots here ground out, cleaned up, get the cage out, get it ready to go and then we'll jump right to the cage work. But before we get started, I do wanna let you guys know that I'm dropping a new shirt design. It'll be coming out quick. Um, I'll introduce that to y'all and show it to you in the next video. But if anyone is interested in t-shirts, I'm selling them for $20 a piece. That includes shipping. So if you are interested in a shirt and also in the new design for the garage shirt that I'm gonna put out, y'all just send me an email at uh, FlemingFR13 at gmail.com. That's enough of that. Let's get straight to work and get this cage tabbed in. All right, guys. So this is my buddy, Paul. He is here. He is the master mechanic, welder, whatever you can think of. <laughs> yeah, don't believe all that. Yeah. He helped me uh, put the motor in my legend car. So he has agreed to come help me again today. So uh, what do you think the biggest challenge is going to be on getting this cage put in? Uh, I think the main thing would get the main hoop set in here, see where it needs to be. Right. Uh, see what kind of issues we're going to run into, get 100% weld on the tops here. Once we get the front down bars in, it should be good to go. Should be good. Yeah, we'll be ready right. to go. So the main part is just getting good prep, huh? Getting everything clean. Getting all of the uh, areas where we're going to be welding the bar in, get holes drilled. We're going to try to do this. Usually we cut the tops off of these cars whenever we put the cage in, but we're going to try today to do it without cutting the top off because it's just when I cut the tops off to me, it's just mentally it's the top could fly off and things like that. It is the easier way to do it, but I'm going to try to do it where it's all seamless, where I don't have anything. Don't have to worry about the top coming off or any welding it back or putting stuff like that. But majority of it's just the prep. But once we get everything prepped, we'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll show you what we're going to do with mounting the uh, cage to the floor. All right. Ooh, finally time to get this thing out. Oh yeah. So that's the A pillar bars. A pillar. The main hoop. There you go. Once we get that main hoop in there, it'll go a lot faster once we figure out exactly where it goes and stuff like that. There's our hoop. There she is. These here are the six point parts. Look at them. It's like a big, huge puzzle, dude. What did that say on it? Oh, Dash bar. Okay, yeah. He's got everything marked. Roof bar. This is the shoulder belt bar. This bars, man, this guy's got the doors. Yeah, these are the doors. Man, this guy's awesome, dude. <laughs> so here's our... Uh, those are on the driver's side and two on the uh, passenger side. So these are more bars. So that would kind of tell us. Yep. What are them saying? Nothing. <laughs> And then we got all of them too. This is a bent bar, roof bar. Bent bar. I'm not sure. Shoulder belt bar. Shoulder. The good part is, is I got my brother's cage. 
pictures in there. Okay, so we can look at that. Okay, try it. So we'll look yeah, at we'll, we'll figure that out. All right, so we kind of got a placement for where we want this to go. We've kind of seen exactly where we want to mount it in uh, correlation to the front hoop. We've got our plate here, so the next step is I'm going to get the flat nest, like we mentioned in the last video, and clean all this up so that we can get some good penetration on our wells in this flat bar. Okay. So we got a lot done. We just got everything cut out of the V-pillar. Cut all this off right here to give us plenty of room. You can see we've got that hoop to where it fits really nice along that V-pillar. Same with that side. Paul did a jam up job getting that cut out. So you can see it sits and nestles nice and neat down in there. We may end up having to cut some of this right here out which is probably what we're gonna do. We wanna make sure that we leave as much of this strength as possible just right there on the car. But we probably will come in right here where that cut is and end up cutting this out too, just so that our door bars right here have plenty of room around there so that we're not resting up against that. It may run a little bit like that. But the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the A-pillar, do the same thing. You can see where Paul has cut here or I'm sorry, marked here. So we're gonna cut that out for the same thing to give us plenty of room for whenever we put that A-pillar hoop in to be able to weld and get it in there. It's going pretty smooth so far, huh, dude? Yeah, everything's going pretty good so far. <laughs> Biggest thing is just getting everything out of the way. Getting it get clean. Getting the main hoop where we want it. See where our halo's gonna sit in the front down tubes, and then- It's off to the races. To then you're gonna show them your welding skills. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you teach me a little bit. That's right. All right, so let's get back to work. Look how amazing this looks. I mean, everything with precise cuts. We've got this pl with plenty of room over here. Was able to get plenty of room to weld on both sides. Turned out incredible. Everything looks amazing. So all we gotta do now is we got everything cleaned up. Paul's getting ready to clean these edges up. And then I'm gonna cut us some of our plates and we'll try to get this main hoop stabbed in.
All right, a little update. We got the plates in, got them tacked, got all of these welds done, which look great. We're just centering up the uh, main hoop around the top, getting everything nice and plumb. Starting to stab this thing in. She's coming together. It's gonna be amazing. Cover. Take that off Take and uh, out of the way. coming along. This is just an update. We were able to get all of these A pillars cut out and get this cleaned up real nice, get these brackets put in where the A pillar goes up. We've got that just tacked in. So we're focusing on getting the A pillars in and then the door bars will be next. After that, it's off to the races. We should be able to just rock and roll with everything. But we've got plenty of room back in here to weld and work. Also, the really cool part is we put these on all four of them so it fits perfectly on them sliders so we can slide the cage back and forth when we get it. Then we'll get the fitment for the steering wheel and uh, go from there. All good things, though. Looking really good. I'm really happy with the way it's going. So we'll uh, just continue to keep working and uh, stabbing this thing in. I don't know if it is here, honestly. We'll see how it fits in there. Let's look at something else. Good. Not gonna let go. There, there it goes. All right, four bars. Number 
Good with it. Sure. Yep. One step closer. All the door bars are in. The vent bar is there. Doing the front bar now. Using a little bit of uh, redneck ingenuity here. And got them all on the plates. We just got a few adjustments to make for each of the bottoms. And that way, what we'll be able to do is once we get all that done, we can, with them on them plates, we'll be able to slide the cage back and forth like this where we want it. Because as of right now, it's a little bit too far forward. But getting there, super close. Paul's killing these welds in a good way. Here she is. Pretty much everything is in. All the door bars, vent bar, passenger side, everything is there intact. We've got the main dash bar. So what we're gonna do now is Paul is about to set up and start welding it out. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So we'll set you guys up on a time lapse and Paul's gonna get to welding and we'll go from there. Here we go.
Alright, so we got the Earnhardt bar in. Paul's getting the steering. After the steering up. Got the steering uh, knuckle on for the quick release. Everything is looking amazing. Pretty much got everything fitted for the seat placement. And then I'm getting ready to work on the seat bar. So everything is coming together. I mean, super quick too. How long we've been out here, Paul? About, it's what, 2.30? So about six hours now? So not, not too yeah. bad. Yeah, including lunch and all that. That's so. right, so. Yeah. Anyway, I'm happy with the progress we've got so far. I think that pretty much we'll, we'll probably have this cage in and done today. So we're gonna just keep on going. All right, guys, this is it. He's welding it in. All the brackets, everything has been welded out. I just gotta come back and weld a few more things. But we've got every weld done, nice and pretty. Everything is fitting in there good. And he has finally welded it to the frame. Look how good this fitment is. Everything fits nice and snug against that A pillar. Very nice against the top. I mean, it turned out awesome. All these plates look really well. We end up welding that good. He can come and weld that, and then we'll put the down uh, pipe there, or the down piece there. Got the seat in, got the steering. Uh, quick connect done. Good things, guys. This has been an all day job, but we got it in, it's done. And uh, I'm gonna tweak here and there, do some small welding, and besides that, we'll be set. But I'll show you all the finished product after everything's done, after it gets everything welded in, and uh, we'll see how it looks. I'm pumped. So we ended up working till about four o'clock um, yesterday. It is the next day, and we called it a day, but we were able to get way more accomplished on this cage than i expected us to get in one day a huge shout out to my buddy paul for his help because without him i wouldn't have been able to do this and to be able to get this done without cutting the roof off to me was huge so i'm just so grateful to have people and friends who support me and who help me like paul did on this cage so thank you man um, we were able to get pretty much everything welded out besides a few of the seat brackets and things like that. But y'all kind of get the idea of what we're gonna do with that. I'm just gonna be able to tinker here and there on it and uh, just, you know, weld some bars here and there, but I don't wanna keep Paul's welder machine here too long because I wanna get it back to him. But we are going to finish this cage out. I've ordered all of my window net stuff and everything like that. And all I gotta do is get that mounted and get my front bars for where the driver compartment is. And then I'm gonna go into building the sheet metal dashes and all of the visors and covering the sunroofs and stuff like that. But um, a lot got done. We don't have a lot left to do before we are race ready with this car. Our goal is to shoot for April 24th. So we will probably more than likely make that with how much progress we got done on the cage. Thought it would set us back a little bit further, but. Again, if y'all guys are interested in any t-shirts, y'all make sure to email me. And if y'all like what you saw today, make sure you like and share and subscribe to this video. We'll catch you guys in the next one.